Guys, before this video starts, I'm in a secret location. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, all right? Keep it on the down low. Anyway, I want to touch on yesterday's video, which was my first game in two months. Now, I always read your guys' comments. I may not reply to all of them. I try my best to. But I really want to use this opportunity to say to you guys that you can make it in football if that's what you want. There's this thought that I always had in my head ever since I was... I would even say 11 when I got dropped from my first team. There are so many teams that you can make it as a professional or a semi-professional footballer. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because in each of those teams, there's a coach, a manager, whatever you want to call it, that makes the decision of whether or not you are good enough. And boy, oh boy, if you look at the comments section on yesterday's video, the opinions were very, very divided. A lot of people were saying that I played very, very well. A lot of people saying that I didn't do well. And this is what I want you guys to see. In football, it's all about opinions of players. Some people love tall players. Some people love really fast wingers. Some people think players shouldn't make mistakes at all. So just because one person says that you're not good doesn't mean that someone else doesn't think you're an amazing player. So if you ever get dropped from a team, that's just one coach's opinion. Don't let that define who you are. I just thought that was a good opportunity to put that in because I don't think I've said that to you guys before. And it's something that I'm always thinking about. Now in saying that, when you guys are commenting saying, my dribbling is off or my decision making isn't good. That's an opinion and I completely respect that. And I'm looking into that myself. I'm looking at what I'm doing wrong. How can I improve it? And it's awesome. You guys are picking out these things very well. And I know that you guys are only trying to benefit me. You're trying to make me better. And if you're not, well, you're not part of the team Twitter. So get off this channel, man. I love constructive criticism because I love improving myself and making myself better. So anyway, guys, enjoy the video. What is going on Tank Tweety? I hope you're all super well. My hair's not doing what I really want it to. I got the haircut yesterday and look, it's okay. I just need to style a little bit better. I just could not be bothered this morning. So today I have Crawley Town under 23's training, but after last night scoring a goal and getting an assist, I just want to rest, man. But I need to go to this session because we have a match next week against Brentford B team, I think. So that's going to be a very, very tough game. And I want to make sure I'm playing for that. And the best thing for me to do in order to play is to make sure that I go to every training session possible. But man, I'm so tired from the match yesterday. My leg hurts, but this is really the grind. I basically just want to fast forward to two o'clock so that this session is over. And then after this, I'll be going to the gym probably tomorrow and Sunday because today's Friday and then no football. Otherwise I need to rest my leg. I just need to chill. So that's about it for my situation. Tired, dead. The week's nearly over and I say to you guys, you know you're doing your passion when you want to wake up every day and go out and do it. But sometimes it's tough, man. It's never easy. Anyway, I'll catch you guys at training. I'm just, I'm going to go to sleep on the train today. Probably not because I'll miss my stop. Just arriving to the ground now. I'm feeling a little bit better after that train ride. But man, this is the time where I need to focus on the session, the task at hand. This is where a change of mindset needs to happen. From being tired to being 100% and completely focused on the session. Because I keep saying this to you guys, if I can perform in these sessions, you never know what might come of it. We have a game next week against Brentford. If I have a solid week of training, maybe I could start in that match. We just don't know yet. So I want to make sure that I do everything I can in my own power to give myself the best opportunity to start in that match because, man, I want to play. So anyway, I'm nearly at the ground. I'm going to try and get you guys a little bit of training footage. I'll see what I can do. I'm feeling a bit better about today now. Feeling, feeling good.
my god, it feels good to be home and know that I have no more football for the rest of this weekend. I just need time to recover from this injury. A training at her today, but I'm going to get into that in a minute. But man, I'm so stoked. Just recovery time. It's so important. But I don't have time to recover. This is my chance, so I'm stoked. I'm just so happy. But I messed up today, guys. I really messed up. So I woke up this morning, usual time to get to training at 11, and I get on the train and I open up my WhatsApp for whatever reason. And I read the Crawley Town Under 23's group chat, and it says that training starts at 10 a.m. on Friday. And because I don't use WhatsApp, I'm so not used to it. Usually I get all these notifications on Facebook back in Australia when we have team training, but here it's different. So every session I need to start reminding myself. So I got there for 11. I got there at about 10.40. And by the time I put my kid on and everything, it was about 10.45 or so. And what you guys saw there was I got 15 minutes of game time and that was it. And then I went back home. So today... But I think it's just a simple mistake. I need to learn from it and make sure it doesn't happen again because that's the first time. So it's just a one-off thing. But yeah, man, time to chill out. Don't say I don't listen to you guys. I read the comments. I got myself some deep heat. I've had that on my leg, but it fell off a while ago. And that's to increase the blood flow to the muscle. And right now it's still hurting, even in training because I didn't warm up properly and I only got that 10 minutes. I didn't have a chance to warm it up. So during the session, it still hurt. Now we got an Instagram live over there bang i'm gonna put you guys right next to the live today we got cooking with how does it go instagram live help me out how does it go is it cooking with sheldon or cooking with tweedy welcome to cooking with tweedy today oh my goodness i nearly broke it today i put shepherd's pie in the oven ow it's hot Let's not talk about it. All right, and then we got the shepherd's pie. It's got lamb, onions, carrots, mashed potato. Pretty simple meal because I just do not feel like cooking tonight. It's my day off. It's just time to chill. I'm going to dig into this and then I'll catch you guys after. Some of you guys might ask me, what do you actually do on a rest day? Well, I pretty much watch some YouTube. I sit around. I don't do anything. By the way, I am watching something on YouTube called BT Sports Films No Hunger in Paradise. It was only released like maybe a week or so ago. And it's just such a good documentary. It goes for an hour and 14 minutes and it takes you through how Steven Gerrard, Joey Barton, and they're on there talking about these young academy players, how they don't really know what the game is. They're given these opportunities and they almost take them for granted. It's really interesting. That's just it in a nutshell, like a very small one. There's so many different pieces to it. But man, on my rest days, it's not even a rest day, it's like rest half day. I just want to chill out from football. I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So big week. I would have loved to play tomorrow and then have the big rest day on Sunday. But man, it's getting to that time again. Dad and Clara leaving on Sunday and then I'm going to be all by myself. It's going to be sad. Man, it hasn't kicked in yet, but... I always say this to you guys. One of the things I find so interesting is the concept of one life. And for all you OG Team Tweety supporters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's always in my head that this is one life, one opportunity to do whatever you like. And that always keeps me pushing every single day. I just want to achieve my goals. You know, I don't want to be sitting down when I'm 60, 70 and saying, I could have been. A couple of things I want to say to you guys before I go. This is my second last night in this house. I'm really going to miss this place. Secondly, you can still enter the contest on my Instagram page to win a match analysis. That was for reaching 6,000 subscribers. So I'm giving back to you guys and giving six away for free. So make sure you head over to my Instagram, check that out, and then follow the steps there in order to be entered. On top of that, man, the last thing I want to say is that sometimes in the journey, you get boring days. Today wasn't too bad because I still got a little bit of training in but there's going to be days where you just can't do anything whether you're injured whether you just don't feel like it you don't have any energy and today's been one of those days where i only trained for 10 minutes and it's not like i'm not motivated to get out and do stuff i just need to relax so that's the third thing. And the fourth thing, this one is very, very exciting. Where's my phone? We've been told that the Crawley Town under 23s will face Brentford FC development squad on the 18th of the 1st, 1 p.m. kickoff away. Now, it was a couple of videos ago where I said we're going to be versing the Brentford B team. I'm not sure whether the development squad is the same as the B team. We'll have to wait and see. But fingers crossed it is, man, because I want to be competing against players who are at that top level. I want to be challenging myself. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. I'll be giving you 
you details on that in the future for those of you who live around the London area that may be of interest for you to come down and watch but yeah one of those days where it's a little bit of football a little bit of this a little bit of chilling but anyway Team 20 I'm signing out make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new around here join the journey and I'll see you in tomorrow's video bye Listen.